I was diagnosed with it when I was... Um, so I'm getting some comments, I'm just like, whoa, relax. Dude! Hey everyone, happy Monday. I've had a bit of a slowish kind of morning. I had like the worst night's sleep last night. I don't know why, like I went to bed, like, like I said in my last vlog at the end, I could literally fall asleep at seven o'clock. And then I went to bed around 8.39. I just, you know those nights where you just feel like you didn't even get a blink of sleep? That was last night. So I snoozed my alarm because I was meant to go to boxing this, uh, this morning. And then I slept until 8.30, but now I just feel like absolutely fine. So anyways, I'm actually interviewing someone for Jazz Handmade today, actually in like 20 minutes, so I need to leave like right now, um, which is exciting. Also like no news about the warehouse. Mum's actually literally like physically going into our solicitor's office today because like we just haven't heard anything and we're like a bit concerned. Like have they sold it to someone else and like not told us? Like we're just so confused. Like the sales, the person that we're dealing with is not being helpful. He hasn't been helpful since day dot, to be honest. So yeah, hopefully we get some sort of info by the end of today because yeah, it's been three months now since the warehouse has been finished and I still haven't moved in, but others have. So that's why I'm just like worried. Anyways, I'm sure everything will work out in the end. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go and drop off some Jazz Handmade parcels. I had to do a bunch of them this morning because I obviously was busy with Hot Girl Habits over the weekend. So I just fulfilled all of the Jazz Handmade parcels. I might actually go to a Pilates class this afternoon because I've got one at 4.30, I think. So I might do that because I didn't go today. And then I need to go for a walk as well. I feel like I just haven't done any exercise. That's my plans for today and I will catch up with you later. Hey guys, I've taken off my makeup. I'm just about to go for a walk. Someone's literally <laughs> just saw me vlogging. I don't think I'll ever not be embarrassed. Especially when they're just like so close to the car. Oh my God, another couple's walking past as well. Hi. Why did I start vlogging right now? Anyways. Um, oh yeah, interview went really well. She was really... Yeah, like really nice, um, vibed with her well. I will definitely keep you updated with that anyways. Yeah, I'm about to go for a walk and then I'll go to Pilates this afternoon. I've just been doing a whole lot of like boring sort of admin -y type things today on the computer, was uploading my vlog today. I just thought I needed to get out of the house, so I'm going for a walk. So yeah, I feel like I haven't gone for a walk in days. Like I didn't exercise at all on the weekend because I was so busy. So yeah, I'm just super excited to go for a walk. By the way, in my last vlog, I was spraying this. My Naked Sundays spray bottle actually broke, so that's why I was spraying it from this one. This one's just from like one of those travel packs from like Chemist Warehouse. So yeah, this is the Naked Sundays SPF spray. I just put sunscreen on, so that's why my face is all nice and glowy. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go for a walk and I will see you soon. I just finished my hot girl walk. I actually just got some lunch. I got a chicken poke bowl. Let's have a look. Ooh, yum. So it's got pickled onion, chicken, edamame, bean sprouts, um, lettuce, and then brown rice on the bottom. How good does that look actually? I'm gonna take a photo of that. Give it a taste test. Mmm. Yum. I love poke bowls. Happy Tuesday. I'm actually off to Pilates, but I'm not going to Essentials. I'm actually going to go try out the new Reformer Pilates Studios in Good Life. 
Um, I haven't been to Good Life in ages, and like I've been a member for how many years? Like so many years. Um, I just love the flexibility because you can obviously like sign up and do a membership where you can go like all around Australia. So like perfect for if you're traveling, for work or whatever. Yeah, I've always loved Good Life Gym. I've loved their classes. You guys know I was obsessed with going to those Les Mills classes in Perth for a while. I even did them here. Um, but obviously I do like to like switch up my training and stuff like that. But yeah, I thought I would give their Reformer Pilates a go. So I'm going to go do that um, today. So yeah, here's my fit. I'm just wearing a Remy by Riley tank. I don't actually have a sports bra underneath because they're actually quite firm and supportive. And because I'm only doing Pilates, I don't really need like much extra support in a sports bra. And plus I've got fake boobs. So I mean, I really never wear a bra anyways with tanks and then I've got my Lululemon Align bike pants which are my favorite and then this is just my Jeff Avenue little top that I thought I would just chuck on and then apparently I'm getting Pilates socks there so I might just bring some just in case but yeah this is the fit and then I'm gonna go to the warehouse and pack some hot girl bottles with Riley I might actually just make a quick protein shake so I'm not sure if I'm gonna get my breakfast in straight away. So I'm just gonna do frozen bananas, almond milk, just like my go-to smoothie. Cow nibs. Oh my god, yeah, I'm okay. I'm going to drink that in the car. guys okay little haul i just went to the post office i just spent like an hour or so packing all of your hot girl habits bottles um in the warehouse i just went yeah like i said to the post office i ordered a couple of actually no, i ordered one pair of pants the other pair is for maddie so they're one of the same ones and i just thought we would do the one order these cargo pants i saw on tiktok Oh, these are actually really nice. Hoping that's a good size. Really cute. It's got like a little jawstring. It's kind of similar to my Club... No, Club R London ones. They're just a little bit lighter, I think, these. And they're, they're a different material. I find that the Club R London ones are really itchy. Like, I don't know. I can't wear them. And, like, I don't like the string at the bottom. Like, it's way too long. And I feel like if I don't tuck it under properly, I can, like, trip over. So yeah, I got these and I just got this to get free shipping. <laughs> oh, this is cute. Just like cute little um, um, champagne-y sort of button-up top that I can wear with like jeans or... Yeah, it's actually really nice, to be honest. So yeah, that's what I got from... Oh yeah, they're from Supre. Literally, I was like, what do you mean? I honestly haven't shopped in Supre since I was literally like probably 12 years old. Oh my god, cute! Oh my god, I love this. Did you know they're making the the zip up tops in the colours? I'm dying. I actually love this so much. I love the black one. Okay, I'm dead. Yeah, full length tights in the same color. Cute vibes. And then a strappy crop. Cute. I love that color. And then we've got like a muted, I would say like a muted tangerine. These are the bike shorts. I'll show you guys. 
These are cute. They actually look really cute together as well. I love that. I'm going to go home now. I've just got a few emails I need to do. Um, and then I might go for a walk today. It's been such good weather. I swear I say that. And then tomorrow is probably going to be storming. Because the weather is so unpredictable right now. Oh, actually, I need to go to Coles. Actually, I might do that now. I'll go to Coles and um, get some groceries. Because I've run out of food. Yeah, shit. Okay, I'm going to go do that now. Happy Wednesday. I'm off to another Good Life Pilates session, this time with Riley. She's going to come along with me. Um, how cute is my set today? So this is what I actually received from the Lululemon event. It's just some Align bike shorts. I think these are the shorter ones. And then this is the Align top. It's got like a built-in shelf bra. Um, and then, okay, funny story. I've been looking for a bolero, especially like this, in like a slinky material. I was going to buy it from... I think it's the brand with Harper Lou that have them, but they're always sold out. So I was on Sheen the other day, um, mainly because I wanted, I'll show you. I needed to get some jewelry organizers for the warehouse and I couldn't find any white ones except Sheen had these. So I bought 10 little ones. I just thought they'd be really good for charms and stuff. Um, and yeah, I just couldn't really find any white or clear ones. Like they were all, I don't know, like black or like blue, um, that I found online. But this clear one, I just thought really good for charms and like really little things, like even studs and stuff like that, just to keep them in. I might actually even grab another one of these. Cause yeah, this one's so cheap. Um, but yeah, anyways, got a bunch of like storage stuff from Sheen. And then I saw, like, I was like, okay, I'm going to look up Bolero because let's see if they've got them. And they had this one. And it's, like, literally identical to the one that I wanted from With Harpaloo. It's, like, that slinky sort of fabric. I got a large in it because I just was not sure on the sizing. I feel like it's a very small size large. Like, I don't know. I just expected it to be a bit bigger. But yeah, I ended up getting a large and it fits me perfectly. That's it from the back. But yeah, cute. Like I wouldn't normally like promote brands like Shein. I've never actually brought anything clothes wise or anything from there just because I don't know. I just feel like, oh my God, these freaking bike pants. I've put on the wrong way. Um, wait, let me just do that because otherwise I'll forget and I'll get distracted. Like I've just never been bothered really with Shein to be honest. Um, but I was like, you know what? This was like literally seven dollars or something or probably even five dollars and yeah i mean it's cute don't know how it's gonna wash but um yeah i feel like this top is like too booby for my liking i don't really like <laughs> my tits out especially when i'm training but i know i just love the fit of this crop it's really nice okay i'm gonna go actually i might make a coffee and then i'll have a protein shake when i get back but yeah that's the fit I love it. Also, before I forget to mention, I'm, by the way, not promoting shopping on Shein because Shein is wrong. Like, that is probably the worst place you could ever shop in fast fashion, ever. Um, hence why I've never, ever bought anything from them. Like, they seem to have all the trending styles for so much cheaper than everywhere else. But, like, firstly, the quality's crap and, like, also slave labor. So, um... Yeah, like I really didn't want to purchase this, um, but like I said, like I wanted this, ex like this exact one from with Harpaloo for ages. Like every time I go on, it's probably in stock now, and I, you know, should have waited probably instead of supporting that. But um, I just thought while I was on there just to grab it. Hey everyone just finished Pilates and I just went into Waxing Express. Oh my God, my battery's gonna die. I just love going in and out within five minutes. Like that's how long I spent in there. They just did a brow thread, nothing else. Although I do like, you know, longer brow appointments where they, you know, take their time and um, stuff like that. And it's like a nice experience, but like, 
I don't have time for that. Like, I just want to go in for one thing and one thing only, and that's just a thread. I need to go and drop off a DHL parcel that I got. And um, I've got a few meetings today, which is boring, like with my accountant and stuff like that. Um, what else do I have to do? I feel like my battery is going to die any minute now, so I can't think now on top of my head. No, <laughs> I don't have it. I was literally at the beach for like two and a half hours. So I went for my walk, which was like an hour. And then I just laid on the beach and read the rest of my book, which I finished finally. And then just like chilled out, listened to some podcasts, edited a few reels. And yeah, like I just got carried away. I was just like laying there and I was like, holy shit, it's like literally 5.30. <laughs> that was my afternoon, very wholesome. Very much needed actually. Um, I can't even remember last time I went for a beach swim. Like, I've been meaning to do it all the time, but I just, I don't know. Like, I just don't come prepared. Like, I'm always just like, yeah, I'm going to do it after my walks. But it just never ends up happening. What? Why is someone parked in the middle of the road? Feeling very refreshed. And I just, yeah, just like I said, I feel like I needed that. I never know which street to go down. Maybe the next one. Anyways, I'm going to go home and make some dinner. Because I had, like, a late breakfast, so I didn't really have lunch. And yeah, I think I might make snapper actually. I bought some fish and maybe some broccolini. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. I had a bit of a slow morning this morning, actually. I didn't go to the gym or anything like that. Um, I've got a lymphatic drainage massage today, which I'm actually really excited for. Riley goes all the time. Um, and I've always wanted to try it um, myself. So I'm going with her today and then I think we're going in the sauna after or is it the sauna before and then the massage but yeah i'm really excited so i'll definitely share my experience um with that i also did i show you guys yeah i did show you guys the new stacks i'm gonna do a try on um when i'm tanned i don't know i just feel like this color looks so much better on tanned skin and i don't know i just feel like i'm a bit too pasty for this kind of color but this color though how gorge. I'm going to have to definitely get the bike pants because I feel like I wear bike pants way more often than like long full length tights. But yeah, I'm obsessed with this so much. There's still, oh yeah, no news about the warehouse. Apparently we're meant to be settling in like two weeks, but I just don't really believe anything anymore because apparently I was meant to be moving in and settling in January or like mid January. So yeah, I just, I don't know. I don't really know what to do. Like, I just, I'm just scared that, I know, like, that surely shouldn't happen because I'm in contract, but, like, there's just, like, a thing at the back of my mind, I don't know, telling me, like, something's not right and, like, it's not mine anymore. Like, I don't know. Like, they're just, they're not acting as if I've just bought it, you know? I don't know just something is just strange it just sucks because like for three months i feel like i haven't been able to grow my business i don't you know i could be promoting my business more if even on my socials but i literally like i don't have the capacity to be like packing orders all the time that's why i need someone else to be doing that role for me so i can focus on other things like new collections and like new cool stuff but like i literally can't because it's just me myself and i until we move in um so yeah, until then, I'm just gonna, yeah, like manage the orders as they come in. Like it's obviously going super well, but like I just feel like once we move in and I like move that role onto someone else, I can focus on, you know, bigger and better things for my business. Um, but right now I just feel like I'm just stuck because, yeah. So that is my life right now. Um, yeah, like I said, nothing really too much to update. Nothing really interesting has been happening, to be honest. Um, yeah, I might go for a walk actually after brekkie. But yeah, I just thought I'd give you a little Wednesday update.
comply with its regulatory obligations, including how to access and update your details or make a privacy complaint. Just received a letter in the mail from. Hey guys, so I'm back home now and the weather's just turned to shit so randomly. I was going to go for a walk, but I'll probably get rained on. As you saw, oh my god, it looks so pale right now, I need a tan tonight. I got my very first lymphatic drainage massage. I don't know what I expected, but I didn't expect it to be somewhat relaxing. I get really like funny when people touch my stomach, especially... When I go and get massages, like I just tell them not to massage my stomach when I get a full body massage. Yeah, it was actually okay. Um, it wasn't painful or anything like that. And I'd obviously told her about, you know, like my history. I've got PCOS and like my period history and stuff like that. So you guys know last month I got my period for the first time in like five months. I've been off the pill for two years, a bit longer than two years now. Um, it's still not regular. So... Yeah, she said that she actually saw a client in a pretty similar situation to me and she said after her lymphatic massage, she actually got her period. So I'm really curious to see if that did something to my system to get my period. So yeah, I'll definitely keep you updated. Lymphatic massage helps with um, like fluid retention, bloating. I've always wanted to try a lymphatic drainage massage. So yeah, she does recommend... To do like a couple more sessions I'll keep you updated on that and how i feel um i'm just eating some grapes contemplating whether to go down to the apartment gym i've kind of got a bit of a headache she did say that was normal though and i feel a bit like i don't know fatigued just like really tired but that's probably because i haven't moved my body today and usually when i haven't gone to the gym and it's by the afternoon i just feel really sluggish so I feel like just going and doing it will be the best thing. Anyways, that was my experience. Both the girls were really lovely. And yeah, I'll keep you updated. I feel like that lighting is really full on. That might be a bit better. I'm still very peachy. I just put on a fake tan. Feeling good. I just hopped into bed. I've got my moon milk. I'm going to read... Atomic Habits. I started reading this and then put it down and then finished reading. What's it called? The Strangers We Knew. Yeah, I finished reading that. Quite a good book. I can't remember if I already said that. I'm definitely going to have to read her other books. Um, I'm just tucked into my tansy. Oh yeah, I'm uploading my What I Eat in a Week video. It's only a short one. I thought it'd be longer, but it's only like nine minutes or something. But I feel like I went like in depth I guess like with all my meals as much as I could but yeah I hope you guys like it. I know you guys don't really like shorter videos I've noticed like my shorter videos on my page tend to get less views than like my one hour videos which honestly doesn't make sense to me like you'd think an hour long vlog like you'd get bored like halfway through or like you'd get distracted and you'd stop watching it rather than like a quick eight minute video but like they just don't get views. It's so, it literally blows my mind because when I'm watching videos, I don't know, like I'd get put off like an hour long vlog. But then again, I don't really watch vlogs that often. Like sometimes I do, like if they're like eye catching or if something's happening in someone's life and I want to watch, I'll just like skip to the part I want to watch, but then that's it. But like, it's very rare for me to watch like a full on vlog. Like I used to actually when... We had YouTube on our TV in Perth, but this TV is so old, doesn't even have YouTube on it. So yeah, we need to get a new. But yeah, since like coming back here, I haven't really watched too much YouTube. And to be honest, I don't really have the time. Anyways, that's me rambling for this Thursday night. I'm going to Essentials tomorrow to a boxing class, which I'm excited for because I actually haven't been this whole week. I've been um, to like you've seen the other reformer in Good Life. Feeling good, don't have a headache, which is good. 
Um, yeah, I'm not really getting the symptoms that she said that I could get after lymphatic drainage. So yeah, I'm feeling good. Hi guys, happy Friday. I thought I'd show you guys the new stack sets that are launching. So this is like the muted tangerine color. It's definitely, it definitely looks a lot better with a fresh tan. Like I tried it on yesterday and when I was pasty, I just felt a little bit like washed out in it, but with a tan, so nice. So I might wear this to boxing today and then I think I might put an oversized tee on. So let's have a look and see how that looks. Yeah, cute. Yeah, I don't know what it is. My stomach's like, it feels a bit funny. Not like a stomach ache, like stomach pain. I'm guessing it's to do with the, um, what's it called? Lymphatic massage. I still have black knees. My elbows are better though. I literally just avoided it, but like, I feel like my knees are really dry. And like, I didn't even go over it with my knees and they're still like dark. I'm gonna have to exfoliate them. Um, I don't even know why I sat down here actually. Anyways, I'm gonna make my bed and go to boxing. I've made it. Oh. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I did get a few, um, when I posted about lymphatic drainage on my Instagram, I obviously mentioned that I have PCOS. I've had it pretty much my whole life. Um, and a lot of people didn't know that I had it. So I got some really nice messages for me sharing it. And I guess I just want to like, I guess, elaborate on that and like share my symptoms and just like my experience with it. I was diagnosed with it when I was, when did I get my period? 17? 16, 17? I think that's when I got my first period. Wait, no, it would have been after that. Or do they know straight away? I don't even know, really. I literally can't even remember. Yeah, I was diagnosed with it really young. And I remember I was put on the pill very young just because my periods were so irregular. My skin was, oh my God, it was like the worst it's ever been. I literally cut a fringe at school because... I had so much acne on my forehead and I was so embarrassed. I wanted to cover it. So yeah, I cut a fringe. Obviously throughout high school, weight gain, which is another common symptom. I gained weight, I lost weight, I gained weight. Like my weight's always been up and down. Um, I've always been like, you know, a yo-yo dieter throughout high school and out of school. And then like you saw, I did keto, lost a lot of weight. And now I'm just kind of at my happy place in regards to my weight, my food. Like I feel like I've pretty much been the same weight for how many years? Maybe three years? Two? I don't know. But you know, I'm just like at a happy weight now. Um, another symptom is oily skin. I don't know if it's like as common, but like I've literally had oily skin for as long as I can remember. When it's winter, it's more combo oily, but um, mainly oily. like. Which is not a bad thing with aging, to be honest. Mum's um, also got oily skin and she looks great. So, I mean, I'm not mad that I've got oily skin. Random ass unwanted hair is the death of me. <laughs> so I like, it's actually gotten worse the past like few months. I just randomly get like chin hair, like thick black chin hair. Usually it's like once in a blue moon, like I'll notice like one hair. And that's been like my whole life. And then recently, I haven't really been attending to it as often. I'll like wake up. I swear, like I'll wake up and I have like five fucking hairs. And I'm like, what do you mean? Like, how did I not know that? And then I'm just thinking back at when I had like facials and stuff where they would be able to like fully blown see my beard. <laughs> so yeah, I've got to attend to that. I just like usually just tweeze them out. So that's annoying, but like obviously like that's so fine like it's not even really an inconvenient or like painful so it's fine i've never really thank the lord i've never really experienced um painful periods ever like i've never really owned a heat pack or have needed to just like i don't know be dying in pain every time i have my period like i've had pretty good periods um i've had some heavier periods but mine are normally just like regular like not a lot of blood comes out of me so yeah i've been so lucky 
like really, really lucky. Even my naturopath, when I was explaining to her my period, she was very like, I guess, taken back when I said that um, I didn't have painful periods. So yeah, I've never experienced that. Bloating, not so much, but sometimes I just feel like it's hard to explain. Like, I don't, I've never really experienced bloating when my stomach actually expands and I look pregnant, but like just congested and just like full, but like not full. Do you know what I mean? Just like, I don't know. I can't, ex I honestly can't explain it. So yeah, maybe that's just a me thing. I feel like that's it. I guess like binge eating and like food cravings and stuff like that is another symptom. Um, well, I feel like right now, like, I'm in such a happy place with food. Like, if I want to eat something, I will eat it. Like, I won't restrict myself, which I feel like is one of the main things that causes binge eating and, like, cravings. If you're craving something and, you're, and your mind's like, no, I can't, I can't eat that, it'll make you want it even more. And then that's when your body goes into, like, binge mode. And, yeah, so... I guess like for me the past like couple of years that I've lived this like healthy balanced lifestyle if I want something I'll just have it I want an ice cream if I'm out and I want that cake I'll just have it because then I'm not thinking about it and obviously like balance is key so I'm not saying go and eat all this junk food and everything will be okay you have to have some balance in your life so yeah I just thought I would share my personal experiences with PCOS it hasn't been as severe as some other cases that I've read about which I'm super lucky for but like at the end of the day I still have it um so yeah I thought I would share and you know remind you that you're like not alone like so many women was it one in is it one in ten women have PCOS or is that endo Okay, I've got a boxing class in literally five minutes, so I'm gonna go now. I think Kate's coming actually. So I'm gonna meet her there because she's on the Gold Coast. Oh, I've been sleeping past like 7.30 the past couple mornings. So that was hard to get up at six o'clock. So I had to like get up and wash my tan. But, ooh, the new Hot Girl Habits Challenge is starting. Still the same habits, just another round. So I'm really excited to, like, really knuckle down because, oh, my God, I felt so good doing it. So that starts April 4, and make sure you're in the Facebook group because we've got lots of, like, free things that we're going to add to the challenge. So make sure you are a member so you don't miss out. Okay, I actually need to go. Like, the class literally has started, so... Okay. Clearly. Oh, I'm going to go get my nails done actually. How do you spell euphoria? Euphoria. Euphoria? I'm getting my nails done today. They actually all stayed on except for this one. I actually jammed it when I was opening the boot. So that's good. Um, but yeah, they stayed on. They're a good length for boxing and stuff. Because I think the length last time were too long. That's why, like, a lot of them fell off. So, I'm looking up Euphoria-inspired nails. Someone just... Ooh, these are cool. Ooh, I like them. Um, yeah, I've just been struggling to find, like, trending nails. And someone recommended Euphoria. So, they're a bit... They're a bit dark vibes. I mean, that one's cute with the gems. like cute you know they're like very edgy vibes so I'm not too sure I did like those green ones actually the green ones were cool I'll show you yeah I don't know about that like I just I'm worried that it's just gonna take way too long because I actually need to go home have a shower actually I, I don't even think I'll have time to do that I think I might just go straight to my nail appointment, actually. Anyways, I will update you with 
it's the nails but these are my current ones so I'll let you know okay here's a look to get my nails done got my sneakers on I've never usually like I'm not one to pair like sneakers with pants it's just not in my usual style but I kind of like it it's more like edgy vibes which is not really I guess like my style typically like I'd prefer to wear like slides or like you know sandals you know but I quite like it skims tank Oh yeah, these are Jeff Avenue, but you guys would know if you watch my vlogs. So yeah, I'm excited. I'll show you guys what I get. I'm actually obsessed like what how do you even do that she's honestly like so talented oh my god I'm obsessed of course I had to get it to match the hot girl drink bottle I love it hey what can I get for you hi can I please just get a small decaf iced latte on almond milk with no sugar syrup, please. No sugar syrup, was it? Yeah. I need to show you my literal most random haul from Woolworths. Like this is literally the most random things that I needed. Like you're gonna be like, what the fuck? Okay. I got some tulips because cute vibes. Spinach. Color catchers. Egg whites, a zucchini, deodorant. This actually intrigued me. More cocoa and milk, less sugar. Let's see if it's actually worth it. Worth the less, oh, it smells good. I actually like dark chocolate, so. I probably will like this, even though it's not dark chocolate, it's milk. Mmm. It reminds me of something. Oh my God, that's so good. So I've got some things to unbox with you that I picked up today. So let's get started Ooh, these don't attach this is from frank bod Ooh. oh i've seen this smooth smoothing aha body lotion i've actually seen people post about this apparently it's really good i actually needed a new um moisturizer mm. So what's it meant to do? This AHA combination gently buffs away dry, dead skin while you go about your day giving you a soft skin, giving your you soft skin instantly and over time. Use me in conjunction with SPF. Yeah, it's like nice and lightweight. I actually like that. Okay, so this small business reached out to me in my DMs and asked me what mine and Peter's anniversary is. We don't really have like a proper anniversary because we didn't really... I don't know, he never really like asked me to be his girlfriend like officially. We kind of just like started seeing each other and then we were just boyfriend and girlfriend. So we kind of like made a date from when he took me down to Bustleton um, in WA. So we've kind of just like made up a date. Um, so it was like roughly around that date. How cute is that? I feel like my mum or my Barker would love this framed. Like, 
That is seriously the cutest thing I've ever freaking seen. And it's like, I'm not really sure what material it is. It's kind of giving me like cloth vibes, but not. That is so, so, so cute. So thank you so much. Um, her business is called Illustrations by Elle. I love that. I'm definitely going to get it framed. I think I do have a frame actually that would fit this. Okay, next gift is, this is so random. So they actually reached out to me, I think via email. And they're based in the US. Um, Birth Date Candles. Is that their company name? Birth Date Candles? I think so. Yeah, anyways, based in the US. And um, yeah, they asked me what my birthday was. And I said January 4th. This smells so good, by the way. I don't know if like each candle smells different, but it smells so cute. But like, look at this. I swear this is like my cup that I always use for my iced coffee. So it's got January 4th and then just like a bit of info about January 4th, I guess, if you wanted to like screenshot and have a read if your birthday is Jan 4. But yeah, how cute is this? I just love the design and it smells really good. It actually says sage, frankincense and oak moss, hand poured in USA coconut and soy wax blend. So thank you so much. I actually love it. I might even put that on my bedside table. I love the shape of the candle as well. So shout out to them. And last but not least is a outfit that I actually bought. So I don't know if I've told you guys, but my whole family is going to Hamilton Island in April. We booked it like, when did we book it? October last year. So we've booked like a massive house and we're all staying there and I'm so excited because we've never, we don't really do like family holidays, like my whole family is going like including Barca and Dida, like it's like a whole family thing. So yeah, I'm so excited. So we booked that and that is literally next month. It's come so quick. So I've just been kind of like browsing online and I stumbled across this and I was like, I have to have it. It's very like resort vibes. Okay. For the price. So this. I found on Instagram the, that's the brand, L Space. I'm pretty sure I saw an influencer like promoting them or wearing them. Anyways, yeah, how cute is this set? So I got the pants. Like I love me some like really nice flowy pants. And then I just got the matching long sleeve that I can wear as a set with like bikinis underneath, like a white bikini. But I just really liked the pattern. It was like super summery, super light. Now these were really expensive. They're 99 USD each. So that's like what, $200 for both plus shipping, which was $40. And then you got to convert USD to AUD. So I paid like almost $350, like literally $350 for this. And like, <laughs> it's cute. Like it just literally feels like cheap. Like it does, it really doesn't, like it doesn't feel like a $300 set, if that makes sense. So yeah, I don't know. Like it's just like, what is it made out of? Viscose and 15% cotton. So yeah, something special. I just feel like, you know, there's so many other cute sets like this for like half the price that you could get, like on dish or like somewhere else. But like, I really, really, really liked the pattern and I hadn't seen really anything that I could get here in Australia and I yeah I just bought it so um hopefully that fits I got a large and that doesn't really seem like a large so yeah I got that yeah, I'm gonna go have a shower now I'm gonna put away my washing um I had some sushi for lunch tomorrow I think I'm gonna go out for brekkie with Riley we might do a workout or something just started literally pissing down with rain randomly again today I hope tomorrow is not raining, but I have a feeling that it is going to be raining. So that's a bit of a mood kill. But yeah, I didn't really have any plans anyways. I was going to go over to mum's for dinner, but I just think I'll maybe just make some pasta and I don't know, have a night in. <laughs> have a night in as if like I go out every weekend. No, I might just like edit a video or something and just chill out, maybe clean a bit. That is all. Can you see my bra? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm gonna stop annoying you now and go and have a shower.
vegetarian pasta. It's nice sitting there though, have eggs of food. Okay. Yeah, Yum. Yeah, hey boys. Coming to you live from Sydney. Good morning everyone. Happy Saturday. I just made some brekkie. I just made some avo toast. Oh wow. Well. I'm still eating that sourdough that I got from the market a couple weeks ago, but I'm running low, so I think I'm gonna have to go tomorrow and get some more because it's so good. I just freeze mine, pre-cut it and then freeze it. So good. Might go for a walk this morning. And catch up with Riley. She was stranded in Sydney last night. Like her flight just was delayed and then she just couldn't fly. So she just had to find her accommodation and then fly this morning. God, like she literally didn't have anything. I was like, what about your undies? And she was like, don't. I was like, you're gonna have to wash your undies in the sink. Hey guys, so I've just been here pretty much editing my vlog. I also uploaded a TikTok. I actually got an order this morning from a customer of mine that has been ordering pretty much ever since I launched. And every time she orders, they're massive orders. I think I did mention it before, but her order this morning was $1,500. She ordered 12 things. And she's from the USA, which just is, blows my mind. And I was like, oh my God, I just got a $1,500 order. Let's pack it together. And it's kind of like gone viral. And let me tell you, the people on TikTok don't hold back. Peter's calling me one second. Anyways, as I was saying, yeah. So I posted on TikTok, posted me showing you guys what she ordered. And yeah, like <laughs> it's literally going viral on TikTok. And you guys know TikTok commenters are savage like they don't give a fuck um so i'm getting some comments i'm just like whoa relax <laughs> let me read some out fucking hell um oh i got a lot of people saying like maybe she's reselling because she spent twenty seven thousand dollars to date with me um but i have emailed her like she has emailed me because um, every time she does place an order, I always add in something, whether it's like jewelry or anything. Like I'll always add in something extra for her, like just to say thank you. I think last time she placed an order, she ordered all these charms and um, she's got quite a few necklaces. So she's got like the necklaces, the huggies and everything. So I added in two extra charms for her, which I think completed her collection or I can't really remember, but I always add in like extra um, jewelry for her just because I'm just so grateful. And yeah, she actually ended up emailing me to say thank you for, you know, me adding in like some extra goodies. Basically what she said in the email was that she just likes supporting small businesses. She's got a daughter and yeah, they just like love my jewelry. So bless. I I know a lot of people are like, oh my God, like the price, but like, I don't think they understand like majority of the items that she actually ordered is 14 karat gold and 14 karat gold's not cheap. But yeah, like I'm just like not used to, I don't know, just people commenting stuff like that. And just like, like I don't really get that many comments on my TikTok anyways. Like I just literally post TikToks for fun. I like it. I don't really, yeah. I, I don't expect so many comments in my videos to go viral, but I mean, I guess it's a good thing. I got two orders from it, so I mean, it's not the worst thing. And thanks to Steph from the USA for placing another order. That's all I have to really say. TikTok is just, yeah, it is savage. If your video goes viral, turn off your comments. If you're not willing to, like, it's just unnecessary trolling. Anyways, I'm gonna go edit this video. I might catch up with Riley tonight, not sure. But yeah, I just wanted to share that because I thought it was funny. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. So I'm off to the Hota markets again, like I said, to get some more bread, pretty much. And this is my outfit. So these are the cargo pants that were from Supre. How cool are they? I did get a size bigger than I would normally get. So I did get a size 14 because I did want them to sit like a bit lower on my hips. But even if I did want them to sit higher, I could always just use this drawstring and like have them high waisted. I just prefer, um, you know, more material. 
But yeah, they're really cute. And then this tee is from Skim. Probably would prefer a medium, but like I ordered this ages ago when I was smaller and got a small, but it's still good. It's just like really tight. Um, and then I'm just wearing my Yeezy slides and my pink bag. This is what I woke up to from TikTok. And I had about 20 last night that I fulfilled. That is crazy. TikTok is like literally no joke when it comes to small businesses. Wow, I should really start posting more on like my Jazz Handmade TikTok, but like I literally, that's just another thing that I don't have time to do. But hopefully when I do hire someone, I can, yeah, start posting regularly on there. Because I guess like people like seeing like small business sort of content on there. So excited to be finally making my first purchase from you. I'm an OG follower. Hashtag bird shit. Oh, don't. That is funny. Oh, cute. She got the carver hoops in silver. And the gold should be back next week. The um, really bold ones that I wear literally every day. <gasps> um, I'm also doing free worldwide shipping um, this weekend only. And obviously this is going up on Monday. So I'll include Monday as well because obviously... It'd be over. Yeah, I'll extend it to Monday just for you guys. If you're overseas, yeah, usually shipping internationally is quite expensive. Certain countries, especially if you live rurally or some countries. Um, so I think I charge like a flat rate of around $25 if you want DHL Express and that gets to you in like four days. So that's just like the flat rate that everyone pays worldwide. But some addresses can cost me up to like $80. I know Canada is really, really expensive to ship to. So I think the flat rate is, yeah, like something like 40 or $50 just because every time someone from Canada makes an order, it ends up costing me almost $80, like 70 to $80. It's crazy. And that's with DHL. We do also have the option for just like standard shipping, um, but that can take up to like three weeks, even sometimes four weeks. And I think that's like $20 still or even 25. So yeah, I'm offering free worldwide shipping free worldwide standard shipping like on every single order there's no minimum so yeah if you are watching from all over the world and you've wanted to place an order i mean now is your chance that's what i thought i would do for you guys i'm just because so many people were online like i was literally checking my um analytics on shopify because that's the um platform that i use for my website oh my god 205 people are online right now that is crazy. So last night when I posted the TikTok, well, yesterday when I posted the TikTok before I went to bed, I checked the analytics. Yeah, it said something similar, like 170 visitors online. And yesterday I had over 13,000 sessions. So like 13,000 separate times people went onto my website. That is crazy. Like I've never had that before. Yeah, I just decided to, for those that are checking out, I don't know, I, I feel like sometimes paying extra shipping can put off a customer, especially if they're overseas. And a lot of people that were on the website were overseas. Yeah, then I just decided to change the shipping to free um, so more people could check out. And I think it did work. So yeah, I'm gonna be busy, busy today. Um, holy shit, I didn't actually realize. How many orders did I get yesterday? Let me check. Oh, my mom's calling me. Okay, well, I will speak to you later. bought a um, hot cross bun. It's like a sourdough hot cross bun. It's yum. It is so good. It's fresh and like yeah. dense. Try some bait. Thank you. That's yum. Mm. It's been good. Mm, dog. <laughs> no. He's trying to plug his word in your vlog bit. Whoa. Sit. boys. Mmm, need a look. <gasps> Fucking hell. It's so hard. Yeah. And I'm not using my teeth, no chance. I've got lamb. Keep it up. I'm to do. There you go. Whoa. You have to sit. Sit down. Good boy. Wilson, that's not sitting. Put your bottom down. Good boy. Wait. Yes. Oh, it's crunchy. Doing a market's haul. Tastes like sourdough. 
You need help. Got condom to buying these. Oh, who's this who? And then smell yours. It's moldy. She does look like oh. a fucking maggot. Dude! That was like unhinged actually. Home now from Riley's. We spent a few hours organizing some stuff for the Hot Girl Habits Challenge, which is happening in April. We're working on something for you guys to use in the groups. So that'll be exciting. Um, I am shook. Like I've been literally getting orders all day. I just printed off all the ones that I haven't done. Okay, I'm gonna end the vlog here because I need to pack the orders. I need to edit this vlog. I'm going for a walk with mum this afternoon and I think I'm gonna go have dinner at her house tonight. But thank you guys so much for watching and I guess I'll see you guys next week. Bye.